Good morning, everybody. Got us another job came in. We're uh, and if you saw that last video, I took it down. I'm over it. I ain't fooling with them peoples anymore. I got to get back to doing what I do. I'm starting to get some work stacked up on me. Now this is Sunday. I'm gonna open this and take a look at it before the rain gets here again. It rained all day yesterday, just about, I mean, just irritating. And I've got some stuff out up on the back porch I've got to do today. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna rest. And we're gonna hit it wide open in the morning. Okay, how did he do this? Okay, I'm going to do it. There we go. That way I can reuse that box. Recycling is a good thing, right? Alright, this is a bear. Bear cutlery. I forget the model. Forgive me. Take a look at it. Now he wants a new handle on this one new wood handle he sent me pictures and I can see what he's talking about but it's much much easier to see it in, in person hey we don't have to do anything to the blade I don't think There we go. Yep. The wood does not go all the way up on it. It's got a real sharp edge right there. On both sides. You can see it. If you look really closely, you can see it. Yep. That'll cut your hand right there. Pins are not flush, you can feel those. It's a little bit bigger than the eighth inch pins. I have, I'm sure I have something to match it. Those, the pin size he's wondering about, that's fine. That's well, uh, that won't affect anything. A little bit sharp right there. So, job on this one. To get this handle off, I'm gonna make a new handle. Walnut, dark walnut, and we'll jump on that one this week. It's amazing how just being gone a week, a little over a week, that we'll throw your whole entire schedule off in. <laughs> but that's okay. Now, we'll resume this video tomorrow when I get started on a bunch of this stuff. Quite a bit to do. All right, this is catch-up week. Getting caught up. Not catch-up that garbage that some people eat. But, uh, <laughs> All right, second time forging another Reaper. Success. Got it really close to the pattern. Starting the grinding now. It's still hot. It's got to cool off before I handle it again. Got the handle sort of rough shaped in. Now next I'm going to grind the bevels in here. And the blade. And all this gets a little bit smoother. You're still going to be able to see a lot of the, the, the old teeth for the rasp. And on this side also. But I've got it hammered out as thin as I dare hammer it. Because you remember on the last one, if you didn't see that one. A little bit thinner and we wound up with a crack. I'm going to drill a hole in this one and hang it up on the wall of shame. 
happen. <laughs> Things happen. All right, with any luck, we'll uh, get this one all ground up today. Maybe, maybe heat trees. There's a lot of grinding to be done in here. And I have the handle as a elk stag handle. Very straight piece. And I've got that selected. It's laying over there somewhere. And I'll show y'all what it looks like after I get the bevels ground and get ready to go on to the next step. About that much closer and it's going to be time to turn on the AC in the shop. Summertime is here. Alright, got one side. Rough ground, almost to where it's set. Once I grind the other side to match that, I'll grind the face, the edge, and flatten all that out. Now that was a lot of grinding. A lot. It's very, very, very hot. I'm going to let it cool. That way I can take it off the jig and handle it, flip it, and we'll do it all again. Now I didn't bother to take the camera over there and set it up on that. Y'all seen all that before. With a... There we go. Coming along nicely. Alright, side two. Ground. Now, and I cleaned up the edge. Got that looking good. Now we have to go back to the 4x36 with the magnets. And lay it flat. And we're going to flatten everything out. And get the etching done. Etching will go on this side. And... A little bit more dressing up and I think we'll be ready for a heat treat. That's as much as I want to take off uh, before heat treating. Now remember, at any point, anything can still happen. Let's cross our fingers that uh, we don't get another crack, which I don't think we will, but, and I got a file of finger choil in there too. Rolling right along. Alright, both sides are flat. Now, I'm going to blade etch right up in here somewhere after it cools down. Very, very hot. And after that, it will go out and for heat treat. Out to the forge for heat treat. I do my own heat treating. I get that question a lot. Yes, I do my own. And then it will go in the oven for temper. And by tomorrow, it'll be cooled down, ready for the gun blue handle and all that stuff. That was a pretty good bit of work for the old man for today. So, still got about another hour. So, <laughs> that's okay. All right, let's catch this blade. These are the new etching stencils I got. They work absolutely awesome. I'm going to etch this one pretty deep because it's still got some of the file marks in there. And after it's cleaned up and Heat treating and all that, we'll have to sand it off again before gun blowing. It's going to be a nice knife. I don't see any problems coming with it. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Knock on the wood table. <laughs> sometimes you just have to walk away from something and take a break for a while that's and my vacation thing was already planned had been planned and canceled so many times that we weren't going to cancel it this time but 
all the stuff that went on down there after I got back is uh I'm not worried about it anymore I made my point I think so we won't even deal with that anymore unless they want to continue it which I don't I'm done with it got work to do got knives to make after we make the knives we got fish to catch around here okay like I said I'm going deeper than normal That'll be good enough. Let's get it peeled off of there. That's hot. This will heat the whole blade up. This stuff holds up really well to the heat. There we go. Now wire wheel that out. And that uh, look cool. Hang on a minute, we'll do that right now. Well, there it is. Now once this heat treated and gun blue, it'll pop back out of there pretty good. Nice and deep. All right, let's head to the forge. Now, I'm not going to try to drag the camera out there. It's very hot outside. So it won't take but a minute. Be back in a second. All right, here we go. Heat treat and temper is done. Now, that's about it for today. Everything looks good. I don't see any problems. Tomorrow, I'll clean it up real good on the wire wheel. We'll do some sanding if necessary and get ready to put the handles on. Final grind and sharpen. Get a sheath made and this will be ready. Now, call this part one and we'll see the rest of it tomorrow.